morning folks. <laughs> See if I hold this up here right. Dave's uh, shaving cream is going to be for top secret. And if I remember right, this one here comes from Portugal. I have it whipped up here in the bowl with a uh, vintage Ever Ready shaving brush. There we go. That's what it looks like there in the bowl. It didn't take very long at all. Probably I don't know, maybe 20 seconds, 30 seconds. It's uh, It whips up pretty darn nice. I got the, uh, <clears throat> excuse me, already put a hot towel to the face and uh, got my pre-shaved soap here. The uh, Allen Block Complete with Rubber Band. There's Witch Hazel. And today's aftershave is going to be Gents Gin. Shaver of the day is going to be the uh, Jim Micromatic. Got to warm it up over here in the bowl. Fly wing, sometimes referred to as the bullet tip. And this one here has the guiding eye on it also. The blade in here is a, is a Jim Teflon coated on its second use. Go ahead and get started here. Um, this uh, shaver. If you're looking at one of the Gem Micromatics and not too sure which one to get, I would say it's probably the smoother of the shavers. It's not quite as aggressive as the other two. The clog proof and the open comb. Just a, it is really a, a nice shaver. I could understand shaving with it every day, especially with a Gem Teflon coated. Teflon coated on seems to be the smoother of the blades that I have tried. I have tried the PAL Blue Carbon and uh, a person can shave with it but it's not the smoothest blade in my opinion. In other words, matter of fact, you probably will want to use it in the flying wing since it's the uh, mild, mildest of the three shavers there. But it is, it really is a nice shaver. I'd have to, uh, it's, it's one of my favorites. It would be good for one of those days, uh, especially for me if I know I'm going to be busy or I'm going to need a, just a quick shave. It's one to use because for me it just, uh, it's just a really smooth and almost an effortless shave with it. There is a slight scent to this. I haven't been able to put my finger on what that scent is. Most of the shaving creams in these tubes I have found there, the scents are usually pretty light. They seem to be more designed for somebody that might be a little sensitive to the scents that are included in the creams and soaps. Goes on really easy. Get started here on the first <laughs> first pass. I'm still trying to get used to the new setup here. In my opinion, and this is not the clog proof. But you really have to work at, I uh, guess you might say, getting this one clogged up. It does rather well. I will say that the, um, oh, if you ever find yourself needing to shave with a buffer, buffing motion, it's usually with the uh, against the green pass, at least that's my experience. 
and that's probably about where I do most of my stretching. I may do some on the cross the green. Like they say, your mileage may vary. But this one uh, is a pretty good shape for Quite, I was quite surprised the very first time I tried it. It wasn't my first one. I started with the uh, the open comb, and uh, not that I didn't like it, but I just surprised on the <laughs> how much different they were. Did a good job designing it. Still can't put my finger on what that scent is that I'm smelling. Maybe one of these days I'll figure it out. Over here on this side, I have a spot right here that I get kind of concerned about, so I do stretch just a bit right there. It works better if I do. <laughs> I will have to say for these being vintage uh, shavers, whereas some uh, some shavers, you may have issues with the knob turning as you're using the, the shaver and loosen up the top. I have not had any trouble out of any of my gems in that. In that manner, they always stay tight. But still, very smooth shave. I have not tried to push to see how many shaves I get out of a <clears throat> a gem blade. Excuse me. I usually go with two and done. Cause I. I know that I get two good shapes without any issues. I've seen some go further with their shaves. I think it has a lot to do with your beard type. Mine seems to make its mission to destroy the blade as quick as it can. Against a green pass. I used a uh, aftershave a few days ago. Excuse me, it comes from Germany. Name of I'm assuming I'm pronouncing it right. Tough. T U F F. One with the red cap. It is a very nice aftershave. I would say it's a uh, it's more of a um, a classic scent. Um, I would almost say um, 
maybe just a tad bit on the heavy side <clears throat> whereas these the gents gin is more of a uh, bright light scent I like that tough aftershave though it, it, it to me it is really it gives me that impression that it's a classic scent not feeling a whole lot in the way of pickups usually have a little bit on my neck but it's uh Try not to get too aggressive on my neck. Face feels really good. You know how sometimes you feel like you need the aftershave? I don't really, it's, <laughs> with this shaving cream, I don't feel that. Face feels pretty well more moisturized. really like the idea of the rubber band. I know that if it wasn't for the rubber band, I'd end up dropping this thing without a problem. <laughs> I would drop it. It'd be a sad day that day. Um, here's the blade inside there. You can kind of see this particular one. Uh, this blade here has got a notch in the middle, and uh, most of them do. But this... Uh, this shaver here has a little post in the center, so now you understand why there's that uh, notch, that hole in the middle of the of the blade. Not all shavers uh, have that post. This one here does, in the middle. There's witch hazel with hollow. That is one thing I have to say. The past few days I've been shaving with uh, some gems, single edge shavers, and my face has felt, has felt great. Not a whole lot of stinging from the island block. No necks, no cuts, no weepers. Gish my, to me, just really easy shaves. I haven't had to put a whole lot of thought in them, in my shaves. Like I said, this is just a bright, it's a light scent, but you can definitely feel it when you put it on. Yeah, it's definitely a bright scent. It's such a stark contrast in between this and the tough aftershave where it's a uh, I guess you might say it's a heavy scent. This is, a, yeah, this is like, this will be good for a Saturday or a Sunday, a bright day, getting ready to go and face the world, you know, it's bright and ready to go. And today's Wednesday, it's hump day. <laughs> face the rest of the week. <laughs> if you haven't tried any of this, I. This one here, if you're looking for something that's light, perhaps even for the summer. Now, I'm not real good at saying which ones are good for the summer, which ones aren't. Really don't have much of an idea when it comes to that sort of thing. I just know what I like and what day I want to use it on. Once again, like I say, I didn't put a whole lot of shaving cream in there to whip this up. And it just, I've got quite a bit of shaving cream. Uh, it's, it's a good shaving cream. I really like it. I'm going to have to get some more of it. Hope everybody's doing well. Stay safe and smooth shaves to you.